Hey, welcome to AJK Geography Classes, dear students. I think you people are doing good. Stay home, stay safe. And uh, in this particular period, I'm, I've tried my level best to solve certain questions and to sort out your problems. In this particular video, we'll be learning about how to find out area on a topo sheet. How to find out area on the topo sheet. As I said in my previous video, so pay attention very nicely to the video. Try to understand stuff. And if you find any problem, you need to ask it we begin let's talk about the colors so the first color which you will see on the map is black color which uh, signifies names lines of latitude longitude survey trees heights their numbering river banks broken grounds dry streams railways telephone telegraph line fire line so many other stuffs as well blue color as you can see signifies water related features water bodies perennial rivers However, the minor non-perennial streams are shown in black and irregular erratic streams which you can see with the dotted lines and all those lines. The green color signifies forest, dark green color, grassland with light green color, orchards, scattered trees and shrubs. All these things are colored with green color. The white color signifies the rocky or bad land, uncultivated land infertile land brown circular objects as you can see the brown color they uh, signify contour features like contour lines their numbering form lines sand dunes or sand uh, hills mountains sometimes yellow color cultivable lands or agricultural land and finally red color as you can see they show grid lines eastings and northings their numbering also is done in red color and then the man-made features roads car tracks buildings huts everything is shown in red color now let's jump on to the main topic that is how to calculate the area as you can see i have drawn a grid square you know that each grid square each grid in the survey sheet is of 2 by 2 centimeter is of 2 by 2 centimeter or 1 kilometer by 1 kilometer because the verbal scale says 2 centimeter is equal to 1 kilometer so in calculating the area we need to count we need to count the number of grids and then we need to give the answer in kilometer square because i already told you there are two types of area uh, the area questions or the questions with regard to area on the topo sheet which are asked so area first question is to for example uh, i can tell you one question that calculate the area enclosed between as you can see this particular grid squares i have drawn so if the question is asked like calculate the area enclosed between easting 82 or 82 to 86 right or between east in 82 to 86 and north things these are the north things as you can see so north things between 13 to 16 between 13 to 16 you need to simply count this is a simple one this one is a very simple one so you need to simply count how many grid square lie in between these two so from east to west you will count i told you 82 to 86 so how many grid square is squares are there 86 the 1 2 3 4 this side and from 13 to 16 13 to 16 how many grid squares are there 1 2 3 so 4 this side and 3 this side simply just multiply because you know the formula of area is length into breadth because we'll consider it to be a rectangle so length into breadth that is from this side we have got 4 grid square and from this side we have got how many three grid squares so altogether four into three that is 12 kilometer square as simple as that is that okay this is the first type of area because i've uh, told you about the areas how to find out this one area this one particular question is about calculate the area enclosed between easting when eastings and northings are already given but the second type of area is actually we have already discussed in the video about the types of colors and their importance already so uh, consider this particular thing and i'll tell you a question if uh, the question is asked
calculate the area calculate the area of for example forest cover present on the map or the agricultural grounds present on the map so you need to follow certain rules and regulations to find the area on the topo sheet first you need to divide the topo sheet into equal squares what squares because from one end to the other end you'll find there are 10 grid squares so if you'll divide it into this kind of structure that is north south east and west you'll find you'll get certain areas like this and then if the question is asked calculate the area of the forest present in the southeast side of the map if this is the side of the map then this will be the southeast so whatever area will be covered or colored with green color in this particular area itself you need to calculate the area of that same way if it is in northeastern side or northwestern side or southwestern side each and everything should be very clear to you you need to divide it and you can divide it very easily now first of all let's find out for example if this is the forest cover which i have shaded with the blue color so if this is the forest cover and you are asked to find out the area of this particular part of the map what you need to do first of all you already know that each grid square the area or the length is one kilometer one kilometer two kilometer centimeter two centimeter we already have discussed this thing so if it is one kilometer one kilometer the area stands as of one grid square area of let's write it here so area of one grid is one into one you already know this this is one kilometer square now what we need to do we need to count we need to count what first we need to count what all areas or what all squares are fully colored with the same color same color fully colored all right like this you can find it on the topo sheet i'll show you so full square we'll need to count it let's count full squares here are the full square this is fully colored one two three you need to you can use a pencil to mark it down one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12 13 14 15 this is not fully covered this is not fully covered this is not fully covered and ultimately we are left with 15 squares which are fully colored or fully covered with green color or this color or the forest cover so full squares will write full square is equal to like how many 15 15 and the area of one grid is 1 so 15 into 1 that is 15 keep it like this next we need to find out half square how many grids are half colored with that so I can find out only one here this side this is one and uh, in rest all the part there is not a single grid which is half colored so I only got one grid square which is half colored so it will be like 1 into 1 by 2 into one one which is the area and half and one one grid square we have got we counted it like only one grid square is there so ultimately the answer we got is one by two keep it in fraction the second one is this is half square all right the second one is less than half less than half we need to find out what all squares are less than half colored so this one as you can see it is less than half this is one then we'll move on to the other thing this is also less than half as you can see only the this part only these many areas have been colored so this is again the second one this is third this is also less than half third this is more this is again this small area this again this is in the fourth one and uh, here also this particular area this is also fifth one so we actually got five grids five grids which are less than half colored or they cover less than half part of the grid square so the next one is less than half all right so less than half how many five okay and we need to multiply it with one by three how much one by three 
into 1 again so you can exclude 1 also so 5 by 3 is the answer okay keep it like this again the next one now we will find out how many grids are colored more than half not full but more than half so here you, as you can see this this particular grid square is more than half this is also more than half this is also more than half see this part is left out this is not colored this is also more than half this is also more than half so altogether here also one this one is two this one is three this one is four five and six altogether we got six grids which are colored or which cover more than half part of the particular grid so more than half is like six number of grids is six which are colored more than half we need to multiply it with two by three into one again now it will be like four all right is there any confusion let me repeat it half square uh, multiplied with by one by two less than half multiplied by one by three and more than half multiplied by two by three keep this thing in your mind ultimately now the area of forest cover let's see simply add these things like 15 plus 1 by 2 plus 5 by 3 plus 4 you'll get the answer in kilometer square in kilometer square add this thing and get me the answer in the comment box I hope you understood this thing let me tell you one more time on the topo sheet itself Now on the topo sheet as you can see I have brought a topo sheet for you people. If for example you are asked to calculate the area of this forest cover which is actually in the southeastern part of the map. The question is calculate the area of the forest cover in the southeastern part of the map. So you can easily see I have divided it. This 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here is the midpoint and we have a, you can draw a line with a pencil from this side to this side. You'll, you can easily divide the whole topo sheet into four squares all right which will this will be this area will be in the northeastern side this area will be in the southeastern side this is southwest and ultimately this is south uh, northwest all right now as you can see it you have been asked that to calculate area of this forest cover present on the map what you need to do simply find out which all square fill squares again full square this is full square this is full square this is full square then again this is more than half this is more than half this is less than half this is more than half again because a small part is here is left this again is more than half so you need to analyze by yourself just find out which color is more and you'll get the answer see all right just analyze which color is more this is the yellow color this is the green color so which color is more green one is the more that means this grid is more than half color with the green color all right so by this count the squares number of squares multiply it and then add it ultimately you'll get the answer of the area which can be found as simple as that if you find any difficulty, you can comment in the comment box. I'll explain you again.